Welcome to DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise tutorial series. In this video, we are going to introduce Linear Flight Mission using M3E. Linear Mission will create flight routes to cover the linear target area and capture photos during flight. These photos will be used to create a 2D map or 3D model. It's recommended to use RTK for higher accuracy. Mission Area There are two ways to create mission areas. The first way is importing the KMZ file. Tap Flight Route, KMZ Import, and select a KMZ file from the controller. The second way is creating the area manually. Tap Flight Route, Create the Route, Linear. Tap to create the center line of the target linear area. You can tap the plus icon between two waypoints to add more boundary points or tap the delete button to delete the current point in blue. Tap clear button to delete all points. Mission parameters. Mission name. To manage the missions more easily, it's recommended to name the mission by location, date, and purpose, which is the same as the folder name on the SD card. Camera selection. Remember to select the right camera at the beginning. Choose DJI Mavic 3E and wide in this case. Then, the flight route will be generated automatically. GSD GSD will be calculated from the flight route altitude. Single route If you want a single flight route to cover the target area, you can enable the single route and the center line will be the single flight route. The extension length under flight band is the distance between the edge and the center line, which is for covering the target area. For a further extension length, the minimum flight route altitude under flight route will be increased. In single route mode, the flight band cutting distance and boundary optimization is not functioning. Tap flight route to set other parameters. Terrain follow is supported for linear mission. You can turn it on if needed. Flight route altitude. You can set the flight route altitude as ALT or ASL. Relative to takeoff point ALT means the waypoint's elevation will be relative to the height of the takeoff point. By choosing ALT, setting flight route altitude and target surface to takeoff point is needed. ASL EGM-96 means altitude above mean sea level using EGM-96 geoid. By choosing ASL, setting the flight route altitude and flight route to target surface is needed. Takeoff speed. Takeoff speed means the speed in horizontal when the aircraft arrives the altitude and flies towards the start waypoint. You can set takeoff speed to maximum for the best efficiency. Speed. Speed means the horizontal speed when performing the flight route. You can set speed to maximum for best efficiency. Photo mode. You can choose time interval shot or distance interval shot here. For M3E, distance interval shot is recommended. Upon completion. Upon completion defines the action after the mission is completed. If you take off and land at the same position, it's recommended to choose Return to Home. If you move with the aircraft, you can choose Exit Task. Advanced Settings The frontal overlap ratio means the overlap between the images for an entire flight line. It's 80% by default, and you can set to 70% for flat terrain. Non-Single Route if you want more details of the target area, you can disable single route. A complex flight route will be generated to cover the whole linear area. You can adjust the target area by editing the left and right extension lengths. The flight band cutting distance is used to cut the area into smaller sections, which can prevent signal loss between the aircraft and the controller. If you want to take more photos of the edge area, 
you can turn on the boundary optimization. It will generate two extra flight routes on each side. Advanced Settings Overlap Ratios In non-single route mode, you can set aside and frontal overlap ratios in advanced settings. By default, the side and frontal overlap ratios are 70 and 80 and can be used for most situations. If the target area is flat, you can set the ratios to 60 and 70 to improve efficiency. For areas with undulating terrain, the ratios can be set to 90 and 90 for a better result. After setting all the parameters, tap the save icon to save the mission. Perform the mission. Choose a wide open area to take off. You can set several ground control points for data accuracy. You can bring up the mission from flight route or use this icon from the flight view. Tap Perform, select several flights band and tap Execute. Complete the pre-flight check and linear flight checklist. If you use RTK module, make sure the RTK status is fixed before the mission. About camera mode for mapping and surveying, S mode is recommended. Make sure the warping is turned off. Upload the flight mission and the aircraft will take off and perform the mission automatically. When the aircraft arrives to target area, you can adjust the camera parameters if you use S mode. During the mission, pay attention to battery life, RTK status, image exposure, storage of micro SD card, obstacle avoidance, and the mission progress. If the mission couldn't be finished in one sortie, you can pause the mission, land the aircraft for battery exchange, and resume the mission. After the mission is finished, land the aircraft and check the status. Then you can transfer the data to a computer. Model Reconstruction You can use DJI Terra to reconstruct a 2D map or 3D model. Tap New Mission, Visible Light, and rename the mission. Click App Folder icon and choose the Mission folder. You can add ground control point from Aero Triangulation, Advanced, GCP Management for data accuracy. Turn on 2D map or 3D model and enable the output coordinate system if needed. Then click Start Reconstruction. DJI Terra will start the reconstruction. Thanks for watching.